An update to the MCC Season 6 flight has just been released, bringing in the MCC Seasonal Point Exchange Store, more armors to check out, as well as the Season 6 Pass. So let's check out all the content, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, want to see some more content like this, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more stuff like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So the highly anticipated flight update has finally come for us guys. Uh, sadly enough though, it does not bring the custom game browser. It needs a little bit more time in the oven. It seems like it might not even make it into this flight. Though I guarantee as soon as we have more information on the custom game browser, I will make a video on it, letting you guys know everything. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about everything this update comes for the flight, which comes with the seasonal point exchange system now, as well as some of the new armor sets that are coming in as well. And a first look at the battle pass, season pass, whatever you call it, for season six. Let's jump right into the content here. When you first jump into the MCC flight, you can see that the new season, season six called Raven has recently been jumped in. And you see this big icon saying exchange items refresh in five days or so. This is the new store that's gonna be completely free no macro transactions whatsoever. And it's even part of the main menu here as well. So you have multiplayer creative, which comes with forge and theater. You have options for career, like customization and stuff like that. The exchange, what this is for, and also be able to quit your game. So let's jump into the exchange here to first check out what this new feature is in MCC. And here it is in all of its glory. It does seem a little rudimentary, a little smaller than I was expecting. I was expecting a little bit more in the way of options of things you can quote unquote purchase with season points. This might be filled out a bit more once season six releases, but this is what it looks like right now so you can pick off the rhine skin for the hornet the shotgun as well as the assault rifle and on top of that each one of those is three points and on top of that you can get the rhine armor bundle which is 25 points right here for seasonal points so that's a considerable grind so that's good to know for sure uh, again like this is going to be a pretty long season as well the previous ones but you can see what the each one of them looks like honestly i'm a big fan of the legs when it comes to this armor set as well as the arms but i think the shoulder pieces are pretty fun as well kind of reminds me of, like mad max in a way so that's pretty cool the helmet it's all right when i click on lock there's adding items right there in the lower right and then boom Everything is unlocked for you, quick and easy. It's also really nice to show that they are showcasing upcoming items when the store refreshes. You can get the Buck Bug Splatter, the Arctic Camo for the Sniper Rifle, which is tied to gain to level 20 or 25 with Recon Slayer. Obviously you can't do that right now. This is worth 10 seasonal points. So that's a decent grind. I would like to see a little bit higher point total with that. You also get the uh, gold camo it looks like for the assault rifle for CE. Like I said, my initial thoughts on this is that I like the idea of the exchange system, being able to spend points on things that maybe be tied to challenges or use something you just cannot earn anymore within the game. I really like that idea. Uh, I think the point bundle for the armor set for being 25 points, I think it's fair. Though I'm not really a big fan of having current season content within the exchange, I would like to see previous season content being part of this exchange. You know, kind of like we're seeing with the update that's coming with it for the Bug Splatter Buck, the Arctic Camo for the Sniper Rifle, as well as the CE Gold Assault Rifle, because those are tied to previous seasonal challenges that you can't do anymore. Uh, I just would like to see a little bit of a delay right there because the whole point of having really fun customization is that point that you can grind for it, unlock it, and kind of flex your fandom and be able to enjoy that exclusivity that this has to offer. So personally, I'm not too bent out of shape about the whole thing, though I would just like to see at least one season delay with what's ever going to be in the exchange. But it looks like this will be resetting on a weekly basis, so if you don't like one week, just wait till the next one to get some new cool stuff as well. So next, let's check out Season 6, Raven Season. So let's check it out right here. So you can get a chance to look over all of the different pieces right here. I'm not going to name off every single thing here, but you can kind of just look. They have some new animated uh, nameplates right here, as you can see right here on the first thing you unlock, which is cool. The new animated nameplates are awesome. Some of the Fireteam Raven armor sets are going to be involved with this. Some of the Halo Online armor sets, as well as animated visors as well. So you can kind of get a nice little look everything you can unlock within the season pass right now. 
Uh, again, like some of these Halo Online armor sets aren't exactly the best looking thing. Uh, we'll take a quick overview as well after we look at the season. Just to kind of look at what these armor sets look like in game. At least what they look like in preview. Again, like in the preview, they use Unreal Engine where it doesn't really exactly match up one to one for the visual recreation of a lot of these armor sets. So it just really kind of depends on what looks good in the game and what looks good in person and what looks like good in the uh, preview screen as well. There's another animated nameplate for the UNSC. Again, like I love these animated nameplates. It's something that we've really wanted for quite some time. So it's cool to see that coming into the game as well. We've got these backpacks as well coming in which are really fun customization Ooh, i really like this nameplate that's clean i like that one a lot for sure as a lot of these new headsets again are straight from halo online not the biggest fan of some of these but i do like the kind of like outlining of like led lighting a lot of these armor sets from halo online i definitely will be rocking that because i think that's actually a pretty cool feature as well there's also these odst armor sets are freaking cool i've been posting a lot of pictures on my instagram if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below of the different armor sets and stuff like that just get a chance to showcase these i have a feeling these odst Fire Team Raven armor sets are probably going to be like the next Hayabusa armor set where you see like almost everybody rocking the uh, the nameplates or or the uh, the different armor sets as well. Again, here's another uh, animated nameplate contingent winter right there. You get the Fire Team Raven animated one as well. Uh, you get the cool little combo here, which is a fire truck looking warthog with the goshog as well as like a have a fireman axe because you can put that on the back of your character which is pretty freaking awesome as well uh, i did cover a lot of the customization and new armor sets in their previous update video uh, though i will be uh, showcasing all the new ones that were recently just added in with this update as well you can see the uh, new tech suit undercoat coloring as well they updated the coloring in that so it should match up properly you see tier 100 you get the hornet sapphire raven skin as well as the animated like legendary game nameplates so let's check out some of the new armor sets that have been added into this update here i'll be using the eva helmet because we get a chance to see some new animated visors as well so it gets a chance to start off with the new helmets here the first one I'm talking about is the cos helmet right there kind of blocky but it's actually not that bad if the visor was bigger i probably would like it a little bit more it does look a little low res but it will be higher res once the season releases it's kind of traditionally what happens with a lot of these new armor sets that come into the mcc you have the hammerhead one uh you can kind of get with the idea of the hammerhead uh not that great not that big into it we have the infiltrator one as well which actually kind of looks pretty cool kind of reminds me of like the mass effect 3 helmet in a way so i'm actually kind of a fan of this one you got the lancer one as well I mean, it just kind of looks like a illuminated trash can. That's just me, though, for my opinion. Uh, I got the Nom Dagro, if that's how you pronounce it right there. We actually saw this helmet in the Season 5 trailer promotional content that we saw from the Halo channel. Uh, it just wasn't into the game, so it got added into Season 6 right there. And, of course, we have the Ryan helmet, which we unlocked earlier, utilizing our Season points within these challenges. We can also check out some of the chest pieces here. So you have the COS chest piece right there. We also have the hammerhead chest piece. That one actually looks pretty cool. That looks like something you would see in Halo 3, to be honest, in my opinion. And I get the infiltrator, which has a cool lighting effect to it. Lancer, a little too bulky, in my opinion. The Nom Dagro. <laughs> Again, it's kind of angular, kind of forerunner looking, which is kind of cool. And of course, you got the Rhine one as well. Kind of the same kind of thing with the lighting. And actually, some of these leg pieces do look like they fit totally within Halo 3's art style, to be honest, in my opinion. So we got like the COS one. Like that looks like something you would see in Halo 3, to be honest. Like, look at that. That's actually kind of cool looking. You'll probably see all me rocking that one for sure. Again, we have the hammerhead set up. Like that looks like something you would see in Halo 3, in my opinion. A little bit smoother than I'd expect. You can kind of see like some of these go a little over the top with the lighting effects on them. But honestly, I think like a lot of these legs do look pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, but again, it's up to personal preference. Okay, obviously there is that toggle option. You can turn it off and on if you would like. Let's check out some of the new visors coming in, the animated visors. There's a ton of new animated visors. I'll put on the uh, EVA here so you guys can see a good example. Uh, this Tropical Cro Cove one, not really showcasing right now. Of the uncontrolled growth, which kind of has like a green and yellowy kind of color fluctuation right there. These all kind of a similar kind of fluctuation with the turbulence. All tails right here. You can see it's very subtle. Honestly, in game you probably wouldn't notice it too much. Uh, this is kind of reminds me of the Tequila Sunrise in this one, which is kind of cool. If you want to rock those colors. I had the shadow one, which not really showcase. Oh, there we go. Now it's showcasing right there. Kind of has like a green kind of overlay with a gray and black background. At the red shift with a similar idea. The plaited one, which is kind of like a platinum phasing kind of color one. 
uh, Patina, which is like a kind of reminds me of like a streamer setup in a way. <laughs> if you want to match your stream setup, there you go. You got the old salt, which is kind of similar to the shadow as well. Nebula, kind of similar to the Patina one, if I remember correctly, if that's the name for it. Burn radius, you got the neon one as well. Cool depths as well as another sunrise. But other than that, all the same content that was there previously is there. If you want to check out all the different kind of weapon skins and vehicle skins and stuff like that, I have a video right here. If you want to check that out, it's on my channel right now. You can go just click on the link on that and you get to see all the new weapon skins, all the new vehicle skins and stuff like that. That's not covered in this video because that was for that update. We currently don't have a release date set for its season six, though I would suspect it to come either late March or early April for this update. Uh, it does not seem like we will get the custom game browser with this flight. Uh, as soon as we have like a blog update kind of showcasing all the different uh, bug fixes that came with this update as well. It's all the performance increases that came along with the map waterfall from Halo Online. We do know that the map edge will not be coming with season six as it does have some bugs, fixes and glitches that need to be fixed out as well. So a really important bug fix recently just came in for this map waterfall previously you could do a grenade jump to get yourself up there and get outside the map and actually shoot players but now try to do that same grenade jump there's an invisible wall that will block you from doing that i've tried it from multiple angles you can get up here using the uh, little forge ball guy right here as soon as you just try making any kind of movements you can move around here but then you can't really jump or do anything so you can no longer get outside the map of waterfall which this is huge and that's everything that has come with this mcc flight development update guys if you guys want to see some more content like this make sure you tap that like button if you missed any content from me recently or been on loop for halo for the last few days or so check out the videos on the screen right here got linked to all my news and informational videos right there so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next one peace out